Hey guys, so flights in the airport were cancelled. I'm stuck here in Hong Kong. Check this video out. Hey guys, so this is Marvin Germon. I normally make videos about the stock market, but for this video, let me share to you principles on what are you supposed to do when things that are unexpected don't work your way. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe, smash that bell so you get notified every time we talk about the stock market and we give you insights on how you can use the stock market to trade with confidence. Hey guys, so I'm still here in Hong Kong. My flight scheduled Sana for tonight, but we got a message that all of the flights in the Hong Kong International Airport were closed. We were already uh, just a few minutes away. We were already in Taichung. We were just enjoying our time. We were having a grand time. We were touring around. We went to the Big Buddha. But while we were trying to go back and make our way back to the airport already, we got the news that uh, all of the flights were cancelled. So now we're back here. We had to book a hotel. We don't even have our luggage with us. We don't have our luggage, we only have the clothes that we have plus some important valuables. We don't have our check-in luggage because uh, we went, we did an airline check-in, we did an early check-in in the uh, in-town check-in that they have in the Kowloon station. So we did that, uh, but while we were doing that, of course our luggage is already either in the airport or the in-town check-in or with Philippine Airlines. So as of now, we don't have, we don't have anything. Then our flight got cancelled because apparently no one could enter the airport already. It's already stormed and overtaken by all of the uh, protesters. So there. So what happens when things like this uh, would transpire you know, and things that you don't plan for, things that are not planned, things that are not expected? How do you deal with it? What are the things that you're supposed to do? Especially for I've been getting messages of people who are here in Hong Kong and then they did not expect this and then cash is not there anymore. They don't have a hotel anymore. That's why it's very, very important in whatever you do that you need to have an emergency fund you need to have cash you need to have also credit cards ready so if things don't go your way you have something that you will that will hedge you that's why it's very very important every time you travel you set out money above and beyond what you've budgeted for for your food for your clothes or for everything or so that if an emergency happens you have money to buy clothes you have money to take care of your food you have money to book for a hotel you have something that will protect you that you are not left in the dark as well so my flight will be around tomorrow uh, i think it will be around 11 a.m tomorrow uh, so we just needed to book for the night we just needed also a place to stay we just needed to buy clothes as well because we don't have uh, we don't have anything already. Everything is in our check-in luggage. But I'd like to thank everyone who sent messages in Facebook, uh, Twitter, my social media outlets. Uh, those who sent messages of concern. We're good and well here. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, this is still a relatively safe place, safer than other cities that I've been to. It's just like, bang! Think about Marawi last year. When there was when there were bad things happening in Marawi, people thought that there, it was unsafe to go to the Philippines. It's unsafe to go to the whole of Mindanao. It's unsafe to go to uh, other parts of the country. But it, there, it's only isolated incidents. It's only isolated areas. So why am I saying this? Uh, for those who have trips here, for those who have plans to go here over the next few days or weeks, don't be scared, but syempre, act with caution. Uh, all of the rally dates and places are all scheduled naman. So you just have to shift your hotel far from those rallies. You just have to shift your activities far from those areas like what we did kanina. Uh, we went to areas that were relatively far uh, from the city. That's why we were virtually unaffected by any protests or any rallies while we were going around the city. So that's how you can do it. Don't cancel your accommodations. Just try to find places or activities that you can do that are far from the protest areas. Everything right now will be found in Twitter. Everything that you need to know also is found in social media to protect yourself and edge yourself as well. So this is not the normal stock market videos that I normally do or the investing videos, but this is more number one. You always need to have cash when you travel. You always need to have cash also. In, in everything that you do, cash is always king. Cash is always a hedge. Cash will always protect you so that when bad things happen, so when things that you don't expect happen, you have something that will uh, be, be some sort of protection for all of you. Then second also, um, I talk a lot about credit cards, that credit cards is a double-edged sword, that if you don't know how to use it, it will hurt you, it will destroy you. But in this instance, in instances where emergencies happen, uh, you can use that credit card to help you to book those hotels, to buy the stuff that you need to get you by, to help you uh, somehow be act normally and operate normally as well. Because that's something that's very, 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 very important in times like this. So 
I guess that's it. I just wanted to share uh, an update on where I am. I know a lot of people have been uh, worried about what's happening here. Uh, all is well. You don't have to be frightened. You don't have to be scared. Uh, everything will be well. I will be in Icon Iloilo this weekend. So for those of you guys who signed up for the event, I'm excited to see you all. Everything is good. Everything is well. Uh, keep on pushing. Keep on investing. The markets will open tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. Uh, we've been closed for almost three days and it's nice to see what will happen to the markets. Some of the stocks that you've also requested, I've already posted them in either YouTube or Facebook. I just do hope that this is something that will give you a reference on how you can win in your trades. And for those who are new to this and want to learn more on how you can use the stock market to help you reach your goals of financial freedom, the links are down below for my other events from Dubai, Doha, Manila, uh, Cebu, Davao, Iloilo. And I hope you join us and I hope that you can use the stock market to also push and make your money work hard for you so comment below if you have other questions on how uh, you can save hedge and protect yourself in areas like this so i guess that's it for now this is marvin germo i hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon guys and god bless you all